and dear, and dear to God, rejoice, yet shed a sympathetic tear, Jamie on the cottager, lies buried here. This is what's been written against my stone, that stands tall in Brayden Churchyard. My putrid body lays there, with the others of the restless dead. In life, I was a forgiving soul, once the death bell tolls, forgiveness does seem a world away. Remember me, Papa, I'm the one you've long abandoned, the spectre that haunts you still. Papa, hear my lament, for it is the soul of a wounded soul, a spirit tormented by your sins. So I stand behind you every night, compiling your transgressions for your coming afterlife. I know your wicked secrets, Papa, trafficking in dark deeds and illicit contraband that poisoned our lives. And Mama, your silent accomplice in this malevolent dance. You hid in the darkness while I, your own flesh and blood, withered in its grip. The nights were a harrowing symphony, Papa. You will stumble through the door, your breath reaching of the accursed liquor that fueled your smuggler's life. I can still taste that acrid, sickly sweet stench of it, mingling with the scent of my own despair. You will collapse upon the unforgiving, cold dirt from oblivious to the shivering child who longs for your love, your warmth, and your protection. Now, I am a revenant of your darkest hours, through the breath of my death chill against your wrinkled neck, a breath that accuses you of my untimely demise. It is your neglect and apathy that brought me to this wretched state. Consumption, that insidious disease, clung to my lungs like the rotting flesh on my bones. A shadow in the cold as I lay curled in rags to fight off the damp room, where I drew my final tortured breath. You know you feel me, Papa. You see me in your dreams. You feel me gnawing at your soul. I see you both. You and Mama profited from my suffering still. I am your dark witness. I have seen you turn my agony into a grotesque spectacle, a gruesome show for the world to see, as if my pain were a means to fatten your purses. I have seen the tears you shed, Papa, the ones that glistened in the pale moonlight. But know this, those tears are no consolation for the years I spent in squalor and despair. The sting of your remorse is but the drop in the ocean of suffering I endured in life. A suffering that clings to my spirit in death. I will never forget that it was because of you that I perished so young, ensnared by the shackles of poverty and neglect. No one cared for me in life, and even in death, I find no solace. You, the one who should have protected me, left me to fend for myself in a world that offered only hardship and despair. The nights of the were restless for me, just as they are now for you. In the realm of the departed, the torment of unfulfilled desires, the itchiness of eternal bones consumes my being. I am restless, condemned to wonder, but it is you who shall know no rest. Your nights will be haunted by the echo of my suffering. May the restless anguish of your nights mirror the torment you inflicted upon me. Papa, for it is a bit justice that I now bring to your doorstep. You will know no peace, and in the chilling depths of your despair, you shall remember that it was your cruelty that bound me to this unearthly existence. A haunting reminder of the sins you can never escape. Your tears may fall, but they shall never, ever, Wash away the scars etched upon your heart. I stand here, a spectre of your abandonment and cruelty, and I find no solace in your remorse. I am beyond the reach of your cries, for the damage is done, the pain is etched into my very essence. I declare that you shall bear the weight of your sins until the end of your days. Every breath you take will be a reminder of the innocent you crush, the life you callously extinguish. 
eyes shall be the whisper in your ear, the shadow that darkens your path, and the relentless shadow that clings to your soul. And as Dante once spoke of the fiery abyss, so too shall I remind you, Papa, abandon all hope, ye who enter here, for in the afterlife there is no escape from the inferno you've kindled with your cruelty. Hellfire shall be your eternal companion, and I, the shade of your conscience, your tormentor, your relentless rape, shall bear witness to your damnation. I shall be the whisper in the dark at the edge of your vision and the chill in your bones and I shall be your tormentor.